Hello everyone, sorry for not uploading in like, ages, I don't know how, even how long it was. But today I'm doing a video how to create perfect Lego models in Blender, following off of any Lego model or even your own. This is using a software called Stud.io or Studio, and it ha basically has all the Lego parts, you can build whatever you model to you like. So that's what I'm going to do today, it's kind of a semi follow up on my how to create Lego water fluid simulation in Blender. And I might do a third um, video in which we combine the two at some point in the future. Anyway, yeah, let's get started. So first of all, go to lego.com and the way to find any building instructions for any Lego set is to go to help here and find building instructions. And then you can find the theme and I'm going to go with something quite small because this tutorial, I'm not going to do the Lego Death Star just for a tutorial. So I'm going to go for Lego Creator, I think, and yeah, I'm going to go for this go-kart. So you can go, view instructions, down here, and it shows all the instructions, and you can download PDFs of them, or just keep them in your browser. So, it just gives you the exact instructions, and now we can follow this in stud.io. So, if I have the instructions on one side and stud.io on the other, I can just follow the instructions and build it along with them. So if I go to the instructions, the first thing we need to do is learn how to use stud.io. So here we're left for blank scene and this scene we are go so what we need to do, I think it's better just to get into it and show you, what we need to do is we need, what's this? A 1x8 piece with hole. So if we go to brick, it will either be in brick or brick modified. We can scroll down this parts list and we'll eventually see which ones we, ne we need. I think it might be under brick modified, so I'm going to try that. If you're completely lost on which category it's in, this is all basically just highlights of a massive, massive list of parts that goes on forever. Look, the scroll button is barely moving. So if you're truly lost and you do not know which one it's in, if you scroll long enough, it will take forever, but if you scroll long enough, you will eventually get to the one you need to. Okay, so after a while I found it. It was under Technic because these bricks are used quite a lot in other Technic. If you can't quite see what it is and want to move it you hold right click over its icon and you could orbit it like this pretty useful if you want to see it from all sides so when you found a brick you need simply click and hold and drag it into your seat here we have press shift and right click to move around to move around and hold right click to orbit. a bit like unreal engine but not quite so I you notice the bricks here are gray so what that means is we need to make this one gray so when we port this into Blender, it will be great. All we need to do is click on our brick and find grey, light grey, that's it. That's what we need. And you see we have two of these together. So you can literally copy paste this like text, Control C, Control V, if you want to move it. I'm sure there's a hotkey for duplicating it, but I don't know it yet. So. And our next piece, step two, we see we've got this brick here with these four studs on the side. I'm pretty sure that'll be under modified brick because those are the sort of things I found under there. So after a qu quick look, let's see. Here we go, found it. Bracket one times two, so you can put that in the search bar, you lucky people. If you want to rotate it, click it and press R. And see these rotation buttons. Click for where we want to rotate it, which is hor um, we want to rotate it horizontally, like this. So, and you can rotate it for 360 degrees. But what's easier is to click on this inner circle and just rotate it 90 degrees like that. And then you can click off it, click back on it, and move it into place. This one, of course, is red, so that's the way we're going to color it. You could obviously color it whatever you like red there you go so yeah yeah just keep doing this and you see here step three we've got two of these 
Technic pieces. They just slot in. Here it is. Drag it into your scene. Rotate it. Sorry. Bring in scene. Rotate it. And slot it in. See? There's nothing off about it. You can just slot it in. Control C. Control V. Just copy and paste. You can also do this with the whole thing. You can go Control C. Control V. And copy and paste the whole thing if you want more than one go part in your scene. And these of course are black so we can... So yeah, just keep doing this and I'm gonna just do this until I'm done now. Okay, so while this time-lapse is going on, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. First and foremost, there's a couple of issues I ran into whilst making this model. Uh, mainly, if you try to rotate something, um, and there's another Lego brick blocking it on its rotation, it won't just click through, it will actually stop you from rotating it. So if you're trying to rotate something, make sure to drag it away from the rest of the model first. Um, that could usually help. Also, um, there's if you want to rotate something along a hinge, because there are hinges in this build that I'm doing, you simply just click the part that you want to rotate and it automatically will rotate it along that hinge. And usually everything it's attached to as well, so that's quite useful. So yes, that's pretty much, a, that's a few tips you want to know. Also there are, um, along with the normal colours of Lego bricks, there are transparent ones and chrome ones and all sorts of different materials that you can add for them in the material section. One eternity later. This is it done. The next step is importing it into Blender. 105 total parts. I don't know why it's just told me that, but that's how many there were. This took roughly about an hour. There's a random tire there, sorry. It took roughly about an hour. It's a small go-kart. And yeah, next step is to import it to Blender. You can render it within this, but with Blender it's a lot better because there's a lot more freedom to do things. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Also, this system also allows you to make instructions for your build. I'm not sure quite how to do that yet, um, properly. So, I might cover that in another video. So yeah, this is what I've created. With those instructions. Just follow the instructions completely. And yeah, so let's import it into Blender. So, I'm going to... Hey, so, once you're in Blender, if you delete the default cube. Um, go to your, back to your, um, go back to your, whatever you've created, in my case it's this go-kart, go file, export, as, and choose Collada. So, once you've done that, go to wherever you saved, go file, or in Blender, go file, import, Collada, and wherever you saved it to. here it is so it's it obviously needs a bit of touching up so I'm just gonna do that quickly I'm gonna find my model rotate it so it's oddly on the, so it's on the right axis and here we go here's our go-kart in blender now it doesn't have materials right now the materials I used in bricklink 
or stud.io, whatever it's called, they were just a material to see what I was doing. So what we do now need to do is, I'm not sure if there's a way to export materials, but as far as I know there isn't. So what we now need to do is colour these materials as needed. So we can click on each, each Lego brick as an individual object. So they're already coloured, so this one's solid red, so we just to choose. They're already a tight texture, so this one's solid red, we could just choose a solid red colour. That's it. And so now we've got our solid red colour, we can take down the roughness to make it shiny, like a Lego model would be. And you can even turn the metallic up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to quickly switch over to the Cycles Render Engine. Just it looks a bit better. Change it to GPU Compute. So it can run on your graphics card, um, if you have one. And now we can just select each of these parts. And because they're, um, because they're all assigned, if we change just one of them to the right colour, ish um, it changes all the ones needed to so I'm just gonna do that solid black it even tells you what it is so just choose that to be completely black you already got that done what's this one this is solid light grey choose it to be light grey see where I'm going with this I'm gonna quickly use nodes on the solid black because I didn't like the way it was looking Ugh, no that's not and that adds roughness and stuff to it. You can even, if you want to get really fancy and accurate, you can even get the official Lego colour palette um, and do it from there, like that, and choose the correct colours. But for now, I'm just going to go with it like this. I'm going to make some of these, you can even make some of these the colours you want, like that. So I'm going to make this, I think I want to make this sort of a bluish colour as well and you can make see now this gives you complete freedom over what you want so you can make the car whatever colors you want i'm gonna just stay like that i've got my car now so now we can just set up a quick scene and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to press shift a add mesh a plane press g to move it down um till it's level with the tires and then press S, 10, to scale it up. Press G, Shift, Z, to move it along every axis but the Z axis. And press S again to make it a lot bigger. And add new material for this. And there you go. So, now we can set up our camera angle, because that looks pretty rubbish. So I'm going to set it up to be... I don't know. About here. You can press your camera and press G to move the camera whilst you're inside of it. And if you press, and if you press G, Z, Z, um, you can move it forward. So that's a good enough position for what you want. And also what I'm going to do is this sun lamp got imported with my scene so I'm going to just quickly delete that there's another one there's four there's, there's a lot what's going on okay there you go the sunlight's now deleted so now we can add some lights of our own I'm going to use an HDRI so I'm going to go to the world settings surface change that no change colour to environment texture and set the image to open press, press open and download this H HRR I'll have a link in the description and it will instantly give your Lego um, model much better lighting I just noticed another dodgy piece and we can start to add a, a few more things here and there to make our Lego model look more. For example, the t 
tyres, the roughness should be up a bit more. And all the other pieces, the roughness should be quite, down quite a lot because that's that goes quite shiny, which gives it a whole lot more realism. And just do this for various materials which you think need it. This one, for example, needs it, so I'm going to just quickly set this roughness down because that's how Lego is, of course. I'm also going to set the specular up on this so it can do quite a bit. I'm going to use real time rendering. I'm going to use ray tracing for this because I have an RTX card. If you do have an RTX card, do enable ray tracing for this because it will give a whole new reality. It will make it look a whole lot better. Also, for this floor, t this floor, um, I'm going to go to my settings down here and I'm going to press Control shift T and I'm going to import all the maps of a wood texture I'll leave a link in the description for you after you've downloaded the wood textures select the albedo, the raw, normal and the roughness and then click principal texture setup now we've got some wood that our textures lying up that are Lego models lying on and so I'm going to quickly go to UV editing select the wood press S to just to scale it up just a little bit make sure it looks good and now we've got our Lego model in our scene so now quickly go to render settings if you want and turn on adaptive sampling go to college man management and set it from filmic to standard it'll make it just pop a little bit more and yeah you're pretty much ready to render so just click render render image I hope this tutorial helped you and I hope that I'll s there'll be some cool Lego creations in Blender after this and I hope yeah I just hope that this was helpful if you did like this video please consider subscribing it's free and I'll be coming out with more videos like this at some point